So I don't know if it's everything going on in the world or in the country or in my particular state, but I have been feeling so down and in such a funk and I just can't get out. You know, I have not been feeling creative at all. I can't pick up a pen. I am just doing the basics for work. You know, I'm just getting by and I feel like I don't have that creative spark that I normally have. So, you know, we have access to all this technology and I figured let's tap into some of that and see if there's anything out there that can help get me out of this funk because I really want to feel creative again. You know, normally I'd wake up in the middle of the night and have a great idea and want to write about it or, you know, I'd have some great idea, you know, something we could do for, for, for our business and I'm just not feeling it. So it was Friday night. It was dark. It was normally that time I'd pick up the pen. I was alone. You know, everybody's asleep and I, I said, oh, I don't even want to open my phone but you know what? I'll give it a shot. So I went to the app store and I started looking for some creativity apps. So, and I came across a few and you'll be surprised at, you'd be surprised to find out which one I ended up, you know, really getting back, getting back into. There's a hint. So, you know, I'm going to run through these five apps with you. I'll, I'll show you, I'll give you a quick overview about each one, what I liked about them. Um, you know, some of them are really good for certain types of people. And I think if, you know, there were some things that I needed or felt that I needed to spark that creativity, they would have worked for me. But in that moment, it just wasn't what I was looking for. So let's run through these and then I will let you know which one was my favorite. Okay, so the first app that I decided to, to download was an app called Writerly. So remember, I'm in the app store. I'm really just looking for writing apps, creativity apps, brain apps. Yeah, I pretty much, you know, would search for anything at this point, but I came across this app called Writerly and it seemed cool. Download it, I open it up, and basically it's like a writing class in an app, which is pretty cool because there were some lessons in there, some instruction. Um, I like the exercises, the guided exercises, the timed exercises. Um, you know, it, it, it seemed like something that could be really valuable and you, you'll even see there's some um, character development exercises. So if you're working on a book and you need to work on your characters, there's there's those types of exercises. There were also there were also some um, prompts, image prompts, word prompts. So these are really valuable when you're really just trying to spark something, anything, you know. Um, and they also you know have some paid content, so you can unlock even more lessons if you kept scrolling through. So overall, I'd say, um, you know, in that more content section, but overall, I would say that this was a pretty cool app, but it was not what I was looking for. But I think it would be valuable to some people, especially because the free version is pretty basic. And I think you can get a lot out of it. And I would say not for me, though. So I deleted that app. So I was inspired by that prompt feature in the writerly app and I decided all right maybe I need a prompt maybe maybe something can get me going so I come across this app and I think I was searching for creative apps I came across brain sparker so you know and it seemed cool because there were these you know um, I'm swiping and it seems to have this really cool swipe feature I said all right I don't have to do a lot of reading let me just swipe 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 maybe something will jump out at me so basically in the basic pack and this is a free app also in the basic version, you get a starter pack, which has, I don't know, something like 100 cards, and you can swipe through them. There's some quotes, um, there's some images, you know, it's anything to get your creativity going or get you writing. And I was swiping through that. I also saw on the site that there's also, um, you can unlock some paid bundles and paid card packs, but I wasn't really feeling this app. So you know, I swiped through, I found a couple of quotes in there, you know, a nice image of a pillar, you know, but it just wasn't, wasn't what I was looking for. So I went back out and I deleted that app too. So then I said, wouldn't it be great if someone could just write for me? And I had all of this stuff come out of my head and it just came out on paper. So I decided to search for creative writing apps and I came across this app called Creative Writer. Go figure. So Creative Writer actually takes words from other people's works and you can select them. It's actually really cool. It's, it's like in a typewriter feature. You've got, um, you know, you press a word, the keyboard kind of moves and you can select other words and you could just 
press words and make sentences and they may not make sense or they may. Um, you know, this particular version, there's also another version of this that I had seen, but I opted to download this one. And this is a free app also. Um, there's also this feature in there where, um, you know, you could type in your own words. You can select words from the keyboard of pre-existing works. And there's like this little robot that just types for you. Um, but there's also this other feature where you can see like synonyms and um, rhymes. But here's the thing, if you don't have the paid version, so you'd have to download, you know, that you'd have to buy the paid version. If you really want to access what it has to offer, which I thought was pretty cool because you can write all the stuff and then get access to all these rhymes and different word variations. And, you know, it kind of removed a lot of heavy thinking, which is something I really could use right now. But, you know, once I played with it for a few minutes, I, really was getting nowhere. I just had a whole bunch of words on a page and I wasted, you know, 10 minutes just playing around with an app. But there are some cool features in here and it's something that I think could be valuable for people. It just wasn't for me at the moment. So I deleted that app too. So at this point I have downloaded three apps, I deleted three apps and I'm saying to myself, hmm, guess I'm not writing, but all great writers are great readers, right? So maybe I need to read something, but I definitely did not feel like opening a book or reading or listening to an audiobook. And I just had no patience and I was really, really uninspired and unmotivated to do anything. So I downloaded this, <laughs> I downloaded this app called, oh gosh, Shortly, Read Short Stories. And I said, all right, short stories, maybe I could do this. So I downloaded the app and, you know, it makes you take this, um, and this is a free app too, I I download this app. It makes you take this reading test to gauge your reading speed. And then it gives you stories that kind of um, coincide with that speed. And, you know, I opened it up. It's a cool concept. You know, it had like a one minute read, three minute reads, five minute reads. But it was a lot of fiction work and it wasn't really what I was looking for at that moment. So I don't think reading was really going to help me in that moment. So I deleted that app. But... I thought of something. I thought of another app that I actually own already. And I said, why didn't I just open this? So we're gonna talk about that next. So back in October, I decided I was going to download the Blinkist app, but I didn't really wanna pay for it in a month or $50 for the year because I didn't really know if I was gonna like it. So I got the 30 day free trial and I used it a couple of times. I opened it up and the really cool thing about Blinkist is, you know, and the app is really known for its 15 minute story. So you take a book and it's kind of crammed into this 15 minute summary if you're listening to it. But it also has this feature where you could read the stories and the summaries, I should say. But, you know, I like the way that this app is organized and I like the variety of content on the on the app. Like it's it's very um, motivational, There's but there's different topics. There's different categories. You can sort by category. Um, you can look at your top picks, recommended for you. They have these two minute video sessions with authors, which are really cool because you get some extra um, extra insight. You know, um, they just implemented this audiobook feature, which I haven't felt the need to, to buy any audiobooks. I really love what they're doing. Um, but bottom line is, after October was over, I forgot to I forgot to you know cancel the membership, and I had only used it a couple of times, but now. I felt like I paid $50 for the year, so I really needed to use it. And it was probably the best thing I ever did because I actually started using it because I said I paid for it, let me use it. So I started opening it more, I started listening to it. You know, if I was in the shower, I would turn on a quick book. And so as I was getting ready in the morning, I would get a summary. And I like that you can, you know, you can filter by category, self-help, sociology, psychology, um, philosophy, science, technology, whatever you could think of, you can filter by. And I just love the way they break down the descriptions because if I'm just sitting here and I need a little inspiration, I'll pick on any book that seems to be motivational at the moment and I can open up and I could just swipe and look at any key points. And they really do a good job at highlighting what those key points are. So I don't have to do a lot of thinking, which at that moment on Friday, I really didn't want to do any thinking. So I, I started swiping and I, I realized, you know, I'm sitting here looking for an app that I already have, you know, I already have an app that motivates me and inspires me. I think I was just unwilling to really, um, you know, break through and, and do something, do something. That's it. I was just feeling very uninspired. And, um, 
you know, it was a lot of factors and I just needed to remember in that moment that I already have access to something that I can read, I can gain some knowledge, I can get some inspiration because what I would do is I'd read a summary or I'd hear a summary and I'd say, hmm, I, I, I just think of something and I'd screenshot it, send it to myself, you know, so that I have it or save it to my clipboard, whatever it is, or I'd jot something down, you know, it, it would always get me thinking about something else, the way that these summaries were were um, set up. So I ended up, you know, my favorite app is Blinkist. And I'd say that the other apps are incredibly valuable, but this is my absolute top pick. And I would highly recommend you go and download the 30 day free trial at the very least, because it's just really, it's, it's a really cool app. So check that out. And if you don't want to keep it, don't forget to cancel your membership. Otherwise you may actually become very attached to it because you have no choice but to use it. So let us know if you like any of these apps, if you've used any of these apps, if you have any, if, and please, if you have an app that you think I should be using that might spark some creativity, please let me know what it is because I've been on the hunt. So let me know and don't forget to subscribe.